say that which differentiates us from the animals is this. It means we can hold things. We hold things, we build things. We build things and we use things. We use things and we learn. Fighters don't use thumbs. The power's in the glove, it's in the flat of the fist. Fighters don't use thumbs. Because we're animals. I am not an animal! I'm the light middleweight champion of the world. One step removed from a baboon. I know that smell. It's liniment, sweat, adrenaline, grease, and fear. The other man's fear. A good fighter, he smells, he smells of luck, and he smells of win the second he crosses the ropes. When you call to the center, you watch your opponent. You watch his eyes, you never drop your gaze. He's a dog, and he's shitty, and he's nervous. A dog will never hold a stare. That's why dogs wear collars and ask permission to go for a walk. You establish eye superiority and he'll ask permission to punch you. You don't give him it. You treat him like a dog. And when he does something wrong, like coming off his stool at the start of the first, you hit him. Sit! He'll try and get back up. So you let him, and then you hit him again. Walk! Back him up against the ropes. He'll try and snap at you so you muzzle him with a short left. Sit! This time he'll stay down. Seven, eight, nine, ten, out! And then you pat him, show him some affection. Good boxer, good boy. The dog's not just for Christmas, you know. And then, and then when you've turned out his Christmas light, you go home alone. Because you don't like dogs. And you don't like the animal that you are. Yeah, that's 
that's good. Every fighter needs a handle, a nickname. Iron Mike Tyson, Roberto Hands of Stone Duran, Sugar Ray Robinson. It establishes a mystique, conjures up an image, <coughs> and most importantly, fucks off those without one. <laughs> Thirty first, big crowd, big crowd, short fight. Malcolm K. Lewis, I gave him a nickname. Malcolm knocked out Lewis, put him to sleep in the sick. That's eleven on a trot. And my head hurts. Everyone's gone home. Me. An empty hall. With no friends. A bar. I don't even drink. I, I want company. I want... Hi! <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> we talk. Not about boxing. About richer things, deeper things. Things of beauty. Colourful, pretty things. I'm feeling drunk. <laughs> I don't drink, that's why. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, the bar's closing. I don't want to go home. Alone. Nightcap! I don't have to. My place, my pit, my hole. Suddenly not a place to bring someone. Someone what? <coughs> someone you might be interested in. Someone you are interested in. <coughs> when was the last time? Last time? This is the first time. First time. You undress. I sit. Watch. Getting hard. You have a nice body. Soft and clean. Coming towards me. Please don't. I feel your arms around my neck, stroking, soothing, your lips soft on tomorrow's bruises. My heart is fluttering inside a birdcage. My hand reaches up, I reach out and I grab hold of your cock. I want Richter. I want the title. I'm ready for Richter. I'm, I'm fresh. I'm new and I'm reborn. He says a year. I say now. Three more fights. Why? I'm exciting. I entertain and people want to see me. There's not one man, woman or child in any hall or gym I thought he could beat me. They know it. He knows it. What more can I do? I feel, I feel like like an ancient scholar who's translating a scroll, who's just found the key that unlocks the writings. I found the meaning of my life. <coughs> I want the title. And then, nothing. Just to be with myself. I want the title as a mark of respect. And then after the storm, peace. I lay down old tools, take up new tools, creative tools. Learn to destroy, yeah, I've done that. Learn to create. 
Now I long for that. Three more fights. Three more fights and then the title. Training gets hard, road work, mile after mile, pounding out the readiness, heavy back, light back, weights, sparring, 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 and I'm thinking of tonight. Not a fight. Not yet. <coughs> An adventure. Another bar. Another piece of my puzzle slotting into place. Subtle glance. Received. Returned. Achieved. So, what do you do? I'm a... I'm a teacher. A teacher? I'm a boxer, a fighter, tell him! No! Not yet. Why not? Because boxers don't... They don't... Ladies and gentlemen! Presenting a light middleweight contest, a match made at 11 and a half stone. Weighing in at 11 stone, 5 pounds, with a record of 14 fights, 9 wins and 7 by knockout, in the blue corner, Tim Stratt! Crowd cheering, yelling, and in the red corner, weighing in at 11 stone, 5 pounds, with a record of 13 fights, 13 wins, 11 by knockout, it's the Prince of Men's, the King of the Back Passage, in my flag. I can't concentrate. They all know, everywhere, leering faces, coy little smiles, sly little winks. My corner man offering me perfume. Water! It's a water bottle. Well, Time for work. Strat's dancing. I shake my head. Combination. One, two, three. His. Uh, that hurt. Up against the ropes. We grapple. His tongue's in my ear. He knows. No. No, stop it. It's all in your head. I back off. Bang. He's all over me. You wish. Stop it. Well. Laurie's concerned. You're fighting like a fucking faggot. That was real. Round two. More of the same. Laurie thinks I'm on the dodge. Handbags at five yards. Piss off! Round three, bang! Round four, bang! Round five! I see it coming. A slow motion. Red moon. Growing in size. A partial eclipse. A total eclipse. A red moon explodes into a sun. Stars everywhere. And is it from the other side of the world? I'm down. Flies droning. The crowd, a wasp, harsh, insistent. A referee counting. A bell. Who for? for me. I know what's happening, but, but it can't be real. I look out into the crowd from the canvas and, and I can see my old man staring back at me. And he smiles. And then he turns. And he walks away. And I, I don't even know if that's real or not. Did it 
it happen. He hit me, Jerry. <laughs> what about the punch? How did it feel to be knocked out? No, I don't, I don't remember. Take us through that fifth round. I don't remember it, Jerry. You've been a little standoffish, Flynn. That's not very much like you. Well, you're being a bit of a tosser, Jerry, which is very much like you. For anyone out there who is listening at 3A fucking M, if you want to know what it's like to be knocked out, go and catch a train, wait for a tunnel, and stick your head out of the fucking window. <laughs> Jerry, you need a wait. <laughs> Three month ban. Tested for every substance known to man. Couldn't fight during that time. Got a shot at the title though, sooner. Suddenly Richter smells victory. Yeah, I'm shot, but I'm still a draw. He can beat me, can make some money, and he can keep his belt. Why wait a year? Life's like that. National title, one month away, training, working hard. Same trainer. Trainers don't desert you. They've been there themselves. They've worn the gloves. Laurie Charles, God bless him. <laughs> Medicine ball, sparring, heavy bag, light bag, weight, more road work. I'm good. I'm the best and I'm ready. And this time, this time it's not just about the title. I have a plan. A good plan, never done before. A national title fight is a live televised event. In like Flynn versus Frank, the perfect picture Richter. It's a good fight, very good. Almost goes the full distance, but then in round 10, Richter is visited by the apocalypse. Ah! Good night, sweet prince. <laughs> a ringside interview with the new champion, Jerry Stafford, not Clark. Jerry Clark, he does golf these days. And never done before. A boxer, a champion boxer, he comes out in front of five million viewers. He stands there bleeding and bruised and says, This is me. This is what I am. And this is what I have learnt to respect about myself. Can you? Four days to go, I'm, I'm tense, on a tightrope. I'm not floating like a butterfly, I'm, I'm, I'm full of them. This fight, this fight is predestined. It's fated. God made me. He made me for a reason. I'm so sick. Of hurting, of pain, of, of causing and inflicting pain. I walk, I park, late night, warm. In the distance, a dog barking. The sound carried on the wind. Nice night. Turn. Appraise. Young, strong face. Open face. Appealing. What's your name? David. Yours. It's Flynn. The boxer. I want to scream. I just said it. Flynn the boxer. No more lies, no more deceit. This is it. It's, it's a fresh start, a new beginning with somebody who knows. The glade is cool, secluded, shaded. We undress, 
you stand over me, arms arcing, moonlight rippling across your shoulders, white in the moonlight, like marble, a statue of marble, a statue of David. Hurt me, please, hurt me. No, no, not this, you're spoiling the newness. Punish me, kick me, gouge me, come on, you're a boxer. Make me bleed. Because, because I'm a boxer, a fighter. Well, that's what fighters do, isn't it? We only exist for one purpose. To hurt. No, we, we can't be seen to feel, to love, to care, to be loved, to be the softer side of a relationship, to be a gentle side, the non-aggressor. some old flasher. They hate me. And because I'm bleeding, they wear gloves. Rubber gloves. Just in case. Rubber. A rubber mouth guard for fighting, a rubber sheath for fucking, and, and rubber gloves for hating. I'm released on bail. So what? I've got no fight. The bum boy boxer, the faggot fighter, the puffed pugilist. Be bad for Richter's image. I've got no gym. Who'd want to show a locker, let alone a shower? And I've got no trainer. Oh, trainers don't desert you. No, they've been there themselves. They've worn the gloves. Only this time, this time the gloves are rubber. <coughs> it, it wasn't meant to be like this. It was for me to choose to show them. As a boxer, as a champion boxer, something, something that they, they couldn't just take away from me. But instead, instead they've took my pride. They've just, just ripped it out, it sent before it's time. There's no respect in that. A street, late night, cold, late night, Opposite a doorway, dim light, casino light, he's in there, <coughs> I wait, waiting. In the distance, the clock strikes the hours, one, two, three a.m., almost time, I prepare. Door opens. 
the silhouette, broad and lean, the dancer's physique. Rita. I step into the street light. He sees me, starts to laugh, stops. Is this what you expect? Can you understand it better like this? Do I scare you more like this? I bet I do. I bet it's beyond your comprehension, isn't it? Watch the eyes. The eyes. Closer. Closer. The eyes. Facing. His gaze flickers. A howl and punch. Nah! He's good. Fast. Hard. Tough. I'm better. No rings. No corners. No bells. Crap! Our noses become twins. Blood on his shirt all over my chest. He's screaming in frustration. He's the champion and the queer. He has to be better, doesn't he? Then why is he on the floor? And why am I standing here with my arms raised to the sky? Why is there a ringing in his ears and a darkness in his eyes signaling sleep? Why am I the champion? Title, mine, knowledge, mine, and respect. So many even for a champion queer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you.